Aha! Uh -huh. That's the reason why Subriel Matias avoided the $1.5 million offer from Teofima Lopez to fight him February 8th, Super Bowl week, ESPN top rank. Subriel Matias reports is that he's signing a deal, a multi-fight deal with Eddie Hearn, matchroom boxing, the zone, and the fight is and the first fight is gonna be in Puerto Rico versus Liam Peru. Good fight, good fight. Versus Liam Peru, Australian. Um, going to be fighting out there in Puerto Rico in front of the Puerto Rican crowd. Eso es muy bien para pa Subriel Matias to fight in front of the people. Borico, ya tu sabe. Boricua, Puerto Rico, San Juan, Bayamón, Carolina, Aguadilla. But um, Subriel Matias had other deals on the table. And I said for Subriel Matias to avoid that $1.5 million offer, he never got paid more than 300 k They got something down the pipeline. They got something big for Subriel Matias' pause. Now, of course, there was another deal with Amazon Prime and, and um, um, PBC. PBC, I him and Amazon Prime deal that they just locked in. They just locked in the same time that Tiafim Lopez gave him a contract, the same time that his promoter is also, uh, um, you know, because Subriel Matias is a network free agent. You got to remember that a lot of these guys in the PBC are network free agent. Um, um, they're not signed to Al Heyman. They got their own promotion, the promoter, just like David Benavides got his own promotion with Samson Liquids and stuff like that. And the managers or promoters deal with uh, um, um, PBC, Al Heyman, like uh, Manny Pacquiao Promotions, Sean Gibbons and Manny Pacquiao. Just like, um, like I said, Samson Liquids, just like No Limit, No Limit, um, Tim Zeus people, um, TGB, Tom Brown. But I think there's a good move. There's a good move. Um, there's a lot of uncertainties going on and not a lot of guarantees for PBC. So you know that the zone and Eddie Hearn does give his guarantee and, and pays those fighters well. You know what I'm saying? Edgar Belanga, another a fellow Puerto Rican, has signed to um to to Eddie Hearn, and he's gonna be featuring Madison Square Garden Hulu Theater. Um, I think it's a good move, and I think that the best. But I, it's a good move, but people got to remember what I said earlier on. It wasn't the hand. It was not the hand. The reason why Subir Mati didn't want to fight Tia Lopez is because of this big deal. I told y'all it's not about the hand. The hand, the hand injury, eso era, eso, that's to fog up the, th this, this, this potential move by Subir Matias. And think about it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I said, look, guys. $1.5 million offer to Subriel Matias at the age of 32, going to be 32 next month. You think that he's going to duck the biggest payday? He got he got a wife. He got three or four children, I believe. So when God bless his children, it's because he has something. They has something big for Subriel Matias. And I said that they, they need to feature him in front of the Puerto Rican crowd. Now, of course, Puerto Rico, the island of Puerto Rico, he need to bring that type of uh, um, Cotto fan base, Tito Trinidad fan base. And then maybe in September, he could fight um, he could fight Richardson uh, Hitchens. That is what the zone as well in Madison Square Garden after the the, the Liam Peru fight. It's going to be a good fight. It's not going to be an easy fight for Subriel Matias, Liam Peru. I think that would be probably his best win of his career if he does beat Liam Peru. Um, Liam Peru has sparred with the likes of Sha Shakur Stevenson, Devin Dream Haley. He works out out here. So um, he's doing a, 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 a good thing in, in, in getting work done out here. I always suggest that that fighters outside of, uh, of America come out here to work out and get the best sparring because I think the USA got the best sparring. So I I think it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a tough fight for, for Subriel Matias. Um, again, we want to see... Uh, and look, Devin Haney is, 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 is dealing with Matt Schumer as well. So um, I think it's a good move. I think he'll fight. Uh, I think if he wins Peru, he get Richard Hitchens later this year in, in, in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn or in Madison Square Garden. You already know Richard Hitchens is from New York, Brooklyn. So I think that's going to be a wonderful fight. Both of them could trash talk. So I think this is this could line up, could line up 2025 uh, um, unification battle with Devin Haney. Or with Tifa Lopez. But for with this deal, you could surely um Subir Matias got some good fight. Peru, Hitchens, and then later Devin Haney for unification bout. If Devin Haney keeps his belt, or if they want to do uh maybe it's just a two 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 fight deal and maybe get T from Lopez 2025 in June, Puerto Rican Day Parade. But I think there's a great move, a great move by Subir Matias. But I knew, I knew it's not that Subir Matias didn't want to was scared of T from Lopez. It's because business speak loud in the words, and he had a good opportunity to lock out, lock lock in a a, a multi fight deal. If he would have gone out there, get the 1.5 million dollar offer. You already know with all the tax and everybody that he needs to pay plus his promoter plus his manager and he's not going to come out there with a million and if he would have lost the team from lopez then he would have never garnered the puerto rican crowd that i that i've been trying to tell y'all it was not the hand injury it was the business 
Um, I thought he was going to wait for the Amazon Prime deal, but of course, another deal came up to play. He was a free agent, and no wonder Super Matias was running that 5K mile with Eddie Hearn. So I think that was a good move by, by Super Matias' team. Um, I think that they got a good plan, and I think that Eddie Hearn, who paid who paid um Devin Haney very very well, who paid um uh, um Jesse um uh, um um Mikey Garcia the seven million dollars to fight Jesse Vargas, he paid Daniel Jacobs very very well, he paid Demis Andre very very well. So of course nobody never complained with Eddie um um Andy Ruiz when he fought uh, um um Anthony Joshua. So there never been a complaint with Eddie Hearn paying paying his fighters. So I think this is a great move by Super Matias, and hopefully you know he can further take care of his family and further enhance his legacy. Let me know what y'all think about this deal. Ya tu sabes, Puerto Rico, Latino Unido. Um, love you, God bless, and on to the next. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button.